A circuit is set up as shown, supplied by a 3 volt battery. All resistances of every resistor is 1 kilo ohm. You know, I like this question because it looks so simple, but it does not look so simple at the same time. Look, look, there's no values. Oh, they give values. What they want us to find though is the reading on the voltmeter. Now you need to be need to know that the voltmeter is measuring a potential difference. There will be a potential here, there will be a potential down here. What is the difference? How do we find the potential? <laughs> this is where we have to think about the circuit. So think of it in, in loops that you can draw. Let's see the first loop. You start from the battery. You travel down the battery. Let me hear 3 volts, 3 volts. Hey, this is potential. Huh? This pink color things that I'm drawing is potential, not potential difference. Just potential. You know, height and height difference. So at these points, all three, 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 three. Let's go down the first line on top. So as you, as current flows past this first resistor, you will lose energy. And so you will have a potential drop. Drop. Mm, we call this a potential difference or potential drop. In other words, let's just say drop. Lah. Drop by some amount. Okay, and you will be at the position of this voltmeter. We don't know what the amount is. Maybe. Do we know? Hang on a second. Let's finish first. Then from this potential, you will go past this meter. You need to go back to the battery. So this one conti one loop itself. So you will drop and finally you drop down to zero. And why zero? Because you are going back to the battery. That's generally... You know, we can think of the current flow in one loop that we just draw. Now the potential drop is based on the potential divider principle. In the beginning, you have three volts to be shared between this one and this one. Are they having the same resistance? One kilo ohm, same? Means since they have the same potential, dif uh, same resistance, they each will take the same share of potential. So half of three is 1.5. 1.5. This is potential difference. The PD in our VIR. VIR. This is potential difference. Okay, so drop 1.5. So now we do a little bit of math. From 3, you drop by 1.5 is how much? 3 minus 1.5. You drop lower. That means the potential right in the middle is 1.5. Now, to finish this question, you need to do the same thing. But for the other loop down here, Pick a path, go down, drop, 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 drop through everybody and all the way back. There, one complete loop. Think through every single potential difference and see how we can find that. Okay, we got to find the total resistance of each section so that we know what is the potential drop. I think what we can do is to group it into two parts. First part is this group. Second part is this group find a total resistance. So the total resistance on the right, uh, oh man, we got to find some. Okay, the combined resistance here, let's just call it R2 in parallel. So 1 over, what are these again? 1 kilo ohm. 1 kilo ohm. 1 kilo ohm. 1 kilo ohm. Okay, so 1 over 1,000. That will be this one. Plus, on the other side, we have three of them. So 1 over 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000. And inverse. That will be a nice 500 ohms behind my head. 500 ohm. Okay. Remember, I was 500 ohm. Okay. So the other side, we do the same thing. 1 kilo ohm. 1 kilo ohm. 1 kilo ohm. So this resistance, let's call this group R1 will be 2 in parallel, so 1 over 1,000 plus 1 over 1,000 and 1 in series, okay, these two in parallel and the series. So this will be 1,000, giving us a total of 1,500 ohm. Ohm. Okay, let's solve and finish the question. So now, we know R1 is going to be more than R2. So the potential difference is going to be bigger as well. 
But how do we know what's the potential difference? Okay, I think we need some more space here already. So I'm going to scoot down a little bit here. So we have space. Let's find a potential difference. Let's treat this as a 1500 ohm. Let's treat the other one as a 500 ohm. And we want to find what is the potential difference or potential drop V1, V2. And the total given to this whole section is going to be 3 volts. We treat this whole thing as one big loop. So the V total is going to be 3 volts supplied by the battery. Okay, let's do our ratio. So we need to do ratio now. We shall do... I think we find V1 can already. Lah. V1 over V total equals to R1 over R total. And this will be V1 over 3 equals to 1500 over the total, which is 1500 plus 500. Hold up, I just noticed an error. Aya, my, my R2 just now should be 750 instead of 500. Oh well, we'll correct that then. So this will be 1500 plus 750. Okay, what should we get for our V? Let's see. This will be 2 volts. 2 volts. Okay, perfect. This is all we need to find out the answer already. So that means we treat these two in parallel as one resistor. And we say, I'm um, not these two, this whole section, we treat them as one resistor. And we know that the potential drop across that whole section that I just circled is going to be 2 volts. So... I'm going to draw a big arrow and say, oh, across this whole section, you drop by 2 volts. Yeah, 2 volts. So that will be what potential? From 3 minus 2, you should be at 1.0 potential there. Now we have found the last part. So 1.5 on one side and 1.0 on the other side. What's the difference between those U minus? That's it. Potential difference is voltmeter. So, potential difference between two points, this one minus that one. You take 1.5 minus 1.0, giving you 0 0.5. And that will be your answer, B. So remember what voltmeters do. You probably need to know the potential there at both sides, especially if it's connected like this. It's like a bridge between two different tracks. Find the potential then find the potential difference. Okay, so hope this video was helpful in helping you understand how to stay calm and solve scary looking circuits like this. But that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.